Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Ginger Night Fives channel and today I'm going to be going over another achievement in Civilization VI. Uh, this one I'm not ex going to exploit but I am going to kind of cheat my way for it. Um, and this is the achievement here, the Sid Meier's Ditch Digging Simulator which is worth 15 gamer score. And to do this you need to use two cities and the Panama Canal to make seven continuous land tiles passable by ships. As you can see not many people have this achievement um, so it is can be pretty hard or um, not the best one to do really because of how awkward it can be and um, sometimes you can get beaten to the wonder as well and how to stop that from happening you can either play online with a friend or if you're just on your own multiplayer and you can go onto hot seat and you can boost quite a lot of achievements this way so how we're going to set up our game is a bit different to how we normally play um, but what we're going to do is go and change our map to True Start Location Europe. There we are. So that's our app. And we're just going to bin all these city states and the disaster intensity. So basically, we're getting rid of this because we, we uh, the city states, because we want to have our own space on the map. We don't want to be blocked by city states and worrying about having to fight them and stuff like that. We're just going to make it as easy as possible for us. I'm just going to set the game to a domination victory so when I'm done I can kill my dummy character and then that's a, the end of the game if I wanted to carry on or if you want to just get the achievement and just get it over and done with, there you go. Just set the game to no barbarians as well um, so your dummy villagers don't get attacked and you don't waste time building on um, a force to fight uh, barbarians constantly because it can be a pain in the ass. Uh, and then we're going to change this to the modern era. Apart from that, we are all good. I'm just going to change to no, no turn limit as I normally play on this mode. However, it shouldn't really matter for yourself. All right, so we're going to confirm these settings. All right, so as you can see here, you would get like loads of different random leaders or computer you can bin these off so i'm just going to set these all to closed so we're only going to have a 1v1 in a true start europe lobby and then the last one remaining is going to be human so we're going to have to pick uh, russia for this one so peter just because of the placement of where he is and for these it doesn't really matter i'm going to just pick someone out of the way like robert the bruce is just Scottish is going to be out of the way. It's not going to really matter who you pick. It's just you're just kind of going to set them to sleep and leave it like that. Right, so if you're uh, started in modern area, of course, you get a couple of troops for you. And uh, we've also got a payphone straight away. I'm just going to pick whichever fertility rights. So it's normally quite a good one to go for. Uh, I'm just going to skip these i just want basically pick my people to explore um and just know where they're going i mean it we're losing gold so that's not the best situation and then other ranger we're going to tell him to explore as well and we have a third one as well Basically, just want going to get these to explore the map. Uh, our settler, he can go up this way. And then the other two settlers are going to be down this way. And I'm just going to kill all these field cannons just to preserve gold. Even though we're still losing gold, we just saved 10 gold a Turk. So... Um, because I'm playing hot seat mode, I can then go over to my second player, um, who is over here, and I'm just basically going to kill all his troops, apart from the settlers. And there we are. I'm going to go for an old school one, 10 productions towards wonders, just so we can build the actual 
wander a little bit faster than we normally would. And then I'm going to add the 15% reduction towards all wanders again, just to keep increasing it so it's just faster to do so. Um, and then the kind of rest, I guess, doesn't really matter. Um, if you use maintenance, big industry bonus. And then the green didn't really matter either. I guess governors provide loyalty. All right, so now we have our settlers in position. We've uh, our capitals just built a commercial hub, so we've got uh, hoping to make more trade. So basically, it speeds these two up with uh, production. Basically, now these are both in position. We're going to start them at the same time. So first one's going to be here, and the second one here. And now I can start trading with these two. Uh, and then I'm just going to make another trader just so I've got more trade going. Which I can't. Okay. Oh, he's giving me one already. All right, so we've got two trade routes on the go. We're still losing money, but uh, that's not too much of a problem. All right, now we've, all right. So now we've got uh, our three cities. These two to the south are where we're going to build our wonder and get the achievement. So uh, here is going to be where we build our canals. So onto this lake tile. I know it pr provides not really any use for a naval fleet or any uh, seagoing fleet going by, but this is what we're going to do for the achievement. The Panama Canal is going to be put here in the middle and another canal here. So basically the canal will flow through and go here to all seven tiles. First of all, canal, we're going to put it one canal there. And then we're going to place our second canal over on the opposite side. So then that's ready for the wonder. So now these canals are done, we can go on to our wonders and we can have a look. So our Panama Canal is going to take 44 turns, which is going to be quite a while. But we can build it here, which will be complete for the achievement. What? Just to make it faster, I'm going to build an industrial zone. And as you can see here, we've got a plus three bonus, which is going to make it a lot faster. Which only takes one turn yet to do again. And then same again, we're going to build another industrial zone, plus three again, and that's going to produce our production. I'm also going to send my builder into this woodland tile for more production, as well as this builder to the amber resource over here. All right, so now we've got this, we're also going to build an encampment. It just gives us a little bit more production. Uh, it doesn't really matter where you place these, so I'm just going to place it here, the other side of the uh, canal, and I'm just going to put it here. So basically it gives us um, plus two gold and plus one production, which we are going to use to our advantage just to build the canal a little bit faster. So as we can see, we've built the encampments on both sides. We've also um, built the industrial zone as well and that's just taking two turns so now if we go down to um, our wonders and go to Panarch and now it's already shortened down to 18 compared to the 44 it was on so now I'm going to place this here in the middle as you can see it will stretch between the two capital uh, two cities sorry and we've got our canals going to these lake tiles this will now <laughs> as long as no one was to build the wonder which we are controlling in hot seat will make us get the achievement.
Yes, you're using the builders as well. It was on 18 turns, now we're on 14 just because we are um, getting extra production from mining tiles like the woodland. I was going to just select that, but if we want to speed things up, I can go into this. Barracks, it's going to apply, provide us plus one production. Takes us only down to 13, but it's just an extra turn that we don't have to wait around for. There's no point really, I wouldn't bother um, trying to build the barracks and the factory because they're just going to take longer or you roughly do it at the same time as if you were just to build the wonder itself. So just basically build the encampment and your uh, industrial zone and then focus on the wonder and that should be enough for you to crack on and get the achievement. And there we are, we have our achievement for the game, which not many people have, and it can be quite done very easily, as you can see by this video. Um, so when you're just going to go out, do it, guys, just make sure you build the industrial zone straight away. Um, I actually have the achievement before I built the wonder, which I do not know how that was possible, but I've got seven turns left to build it. So... You may not have it as early as I did there, but um, if you're going to build the wonder, just make sure just one industrial zone, one encampment. Don't need any upgrades. You can buy one if you would so like to. Um, just use your builders to focus on production areas like woodland or the amber. And um, and there you go, guys. That's how you get the achievement for the Panama Canal Seven Tiles. Hope you guys will find this guide quite useful. I'll be doing some more videos uh, in the near future. But for now, goodbye guys.